Lieutenant Finch, I can't tell you. I mean, I just can't tell you what it means to have these pearls returned to my jewelry store. You've done a magnificent job. Well, save the compliments. Can you recall what happened? Well, I was showing these pearls to a client, and I left them on the counter when this red-headed creature walked in. I thought she was just browsing, but when I turned my back for just a moment, she swooped up the pearls and was gone. I mean... That sounds like her, all right. The slickest shoplifter in town. We've been after her for months. Now, would you know her if you saw her again? Oh, I most certainly would. The incident is indelibly impressed on my mind. I shall remember that face for years. That red hair. Good, good. Matron, bring in the girls for the lineup. Okay, come on, girls. Step lively. Come on. Pick them up. Get over here. Face the front. All right, Mr. Trindle, all we need is a positive identification. Just pick her out. <laughs> well? Uh, I'm not sure. Never in a thousand years, huh? Well, I didn't anticipate so many redheads. What did you figure on a bunch of Yule Brenners? <laughs> All right, Mr. Trendle. Which one? Well, Lieutenant, it's very difficult. These girls are all so innocent-looking. Innocent? Most of these babes would make Ma Barker look like a campfire girl. Well, I can't help that. The woman I saw was much tougher-looking. All right, girls, look tough for Mr. Trendle. Real tough. <laughs> thousand years. That's the one. That's her. Step forward, Queenie. Rest of you debutantes, back to your penthouse. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. You're nominated, Queenie. Well, what am I nominated for? Miss Light's Fingers of the Year. Oh, man. Well, I can explain that. Are you the head of the Keep America Beautiful campaign? Because I can explain everything. You can explain it in my office. Get her in there. Now, just a minute, just a minute. I know my rights, my constitutional rights. I, I, I'm entitled to make one phone call. Now oh, you're going to call your lawyer, I suppose. No, my manicure is I want to cancel my appointment. Oh. Well, we got a strong case against you now. You were positively identified. Picked out of a lineup by a reliable witness. You could make it a lot easier on yourself by signing a confession. A confession for a little thing like that? It's the silliest thing I ever heard of. Boss? Yeah. Uh, there's some people out here to see the prisoner. Who are they? I don't know. No, I don't know. But Mr. Mooney! Mrs. Carmichael! What in the world? Lucy! Lucy, are you all right? What's it to you? I never saw you before in my life, Mary Jane. Mary Jane? Well, this is the pussycat you made the phone call to. All right, Mooney, what's your connection with her? Mrs. Carmichael happens to work for me. Hey, Lieutenant, this looks like a regular gang. He must be the big boss. <laughs> boss? Gang? What's he talking about? What? Would you please explain what's going on here? Yes, sir. Well, it all started with a chocolate-covered coconut caramel cream wrapper. There she goes again. <laughs> She's being booked for grand larceny. Grand larceny? Grand larceny? Grand larceny? That's right, little sir echo. <laughs> Well, that's true. She is not dishonest. Oh, she's incompetent, scatterbrained, bungling, inefficient, disorganized, incoherent, and stupid. But she is not dishonest. Thank you, Mr. Mooney. Thank you for sticking up for me. Look, Mooney, there's no question about it. We caught her with the goods. What? Good. Well, to begin with, she was walking around with three steam irons in her bag. Now, does that sound normal to you? For her? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'd never be able to explain it. Oh, but well, listen, I can explain that. You just stand there, pussycat, and purr quietly. <laughs> but I didn't steal anything. Can I get anyone to believe that? No, but you'll have a long time to try. She'll be out of circulation for ten years. 
Ten years? Yes. <laughs> well, now, Mrs. Carmichael, don't you worry about a thing. We will get you the best lawyers in town. In your case, we will have no difficulty proving insanity. <laughs> Come on, Oh, no, there, 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 there. Don't cry. It's don't. all right for you to say not to cry because you don't have anything to cry about. But suppose it was your wife that was being sent away for ten years. This is no time for wishful things. <laughs> now, sir, I want you to know that I'm an important man in this city. But what do you want? Hold everything. You got the wrong dame. What do you mean I got the wrong dame? This is the redhead who stole the pearls. She just signed a confession. Okay, Miller, book her. Well, Miss Carmichael, it seems that there's been a slight misunderstanding. Well, there certainly has been. Can I go now? Oh, yes, yes. Well, thank well, you. I don't know what... Well, let's go out here. Get in there. Hardhead, what happened? Well, when I butted Tinkerbell in a bread basket, she bounced me off the wall. Uh. You can't win them all, honey. <laughs> well, anyway, you got your private room back. I just got sprung. Oh! <laughs> Gee, I'm gonna miss your clock. Not clock, not. Not, 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 not.